If you were to ask me where I was five years ago uh, at 13, I would say that I'd have millions of YouTube subscribers, that I would be rich and I'd have a lot of friends. I really didn't think about my happiness. I didn't even really think about it too much. I do wanna fast forward to 2018. You know, middle school behind me, my freshman year, still having that bundle of aspirations and dreams. I mean, I, I wanted to make it into the world as an influence. And in thinking that, I thought I could do anything and everything. In my life outside of school, I had a lot of issues with family and friends, uh, a lot of negativity that was in my life. Just like a lot of kids, I, I wanted to be a superhero and fix a lot of the things that I saw in people that were around me. I took other people's issues and I put it under my wing. I didn't take care of myself either. I kind of pushed away my priorities and I wanted to fix the other people that were in my life. At the same time that was happening, mental health was a national issue, uh, with many of us watching tragedy occur in the nation, in our own county, and even experiencing it firsthand within our schools. All of this instilled a lot of emotional pain in me and us. And as cases of self-harm, depression, and suicides were talked about in the media, at homes, at schools, the anonymous See Something, Say Something line was implemented and promoted within Jackson. I think a lot of us do some pretty extreme stuff in terms of mental health and distracting ourselves from it. You know, like working out like crazy, binge watching Netflix, playing video games for hours on end, wearing costumes, which is what I did. Whether it's a slight funk or heavy depression, you know, portraying yourself as happy when you're the exact opposite in private is one of those things that every single one of us do. And of course, when it helps in the short term, it doesn't help in making us a happier person. And I was no exception to this as I found myself in a dark place, like I'm sure many others can relate. So at the start of 2019, someone was concerned for me and contacted the anonymous tip line where I'd seek services at Akron Children's Hospital, understood myself better through therapy, and just stayed off of social media for a month. And the reason why I bring up all these details about my past and, you know, my recovery isn't to sadden or discourage you on mental health. The truth is, is that this pain that I had had and a lot of other people have is, is what makes you a stronger person and helps you find who you are. It is the light at the end of the tunnel. And a lot of people do not see it that way when they're in it, but it is the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm an example of that. And that's why I, I want to encourage you to use the See Something, Say Something app. I was in that same exact spot and you know, there's so many people that can be helped like I was. And since that time I've been helped, I've been doing amazing things. I've got my first job, I've started driving. I just ran for president and I won uh, with the help of my friends and made and released an album and you know, so much more. There is help out there.